This is the Bell MX-9 Adventure MIPS. Let's talk about it. I've been using this helmet for uh, the past uh, three years and uh, I've clocked more than 30,000 kilometers wearing it. So, uh, you know, um, I really wanted to make a video about this helmet before I retire it. So, here it is. As the name suggests, it is an adventure helmet, which means that you can use it both on and off the road. I've used this helmet almost all the conditions imaginable. I've used it on ultra long distance where I, you know, worn it for uh, months on the road, almost wearing it every single day. Used it on torrential rain, you know, extreme cold, extreme hot conditions, and used it on trail rides, dirt tracks. And I hope that I can give you some information about this uh, helmet. You can decide whether to go ahead and buy this or not. Let's give a closer look at the helmet here. Yeah? It is a polycarbonate shell. It has got four exhaust vents. Two, here, one and two. And bigger ones, two of them on top. It has got five intake vents. That is two, two bra vents. Here and two of them, one, two of them here on the sides and one big, huge uh, vent, intake vent, where it is closable. All the other vents, all the other intake vents are not closable, whereas the, the one on the center, the one on the chin is, however, closable. And it has got a clear visor, which comes with the helmet, right? And uh, what else? It has got the certifications like uh, it has got a DOT and ECE certification and it is also telling you that it has got a MIPS protection liner inside this helmet which we will talk about soon yeah and uh, it has also got a peak just like any other dot uh, adventure helmets so and also the color I think it looks absolutely amazing so it's a very simple system to remove the visor from the helmet. You just have to turn the screws. It's got three uh, screws on top and two on the sides. Uh, you just have to turn the screws and remove this peak. Remove the visor, put your goggles in and you're good to go. So overall this helmet performed great, I would say because uh, you know because of the versatility that it provides right it is uh, very easy to ride it on road because you can just push uh, you can just use this visor on the road and in in the night also and you know ride it just like any road helmet uh, so in case if you're going dirt riding if you're going uh, to a trail or a dirt track or uh, going off road and all of that you can just easily very easily like i said remove the screws and put on a goggle and uh, use it just like that that is that is a versatility that this helmet provides it also allows you to run the goggles and the visor simultaneously another thing that i would like to point out about this helmet is the build quality apart from some of the minor scratches on the helmet on the paint job actually nothing major has happened to this helmet uh, none of the all the padding uh, the internal padding everything is intact nothing has actually fallen apart uh, it's very it's just it's just not not very squishy and just worn out it is very solid it just holds its shape all the plastic and fiber parts on this helmets are all intact i really would like to report that the build quality uh, of this helmet is top notch and the comfort actually after you know riding it very long distances you don't feel like you are you just forget that you have a helmet on sometimes right it's actually that comfortable 
and uh, and also the iPod it has got a huge humongous iPod uh, which accommodates almost all the goggles this big goggles out there in the market I think it accommodates almost all the uh, goggles in the market it's not a, a surprise uh, because this helmet actually derives from Bell's MX9 dirt lid, right? I think the reason why its build quality is so good is because Bell has kept this helmet fairly simple, right? You can uh, adjust the visor on this helmet, the peak on this helmet simply by, you know, undoing the screw on top and putting it into a different slot. You can also run the uh, uh, intercom system in it. I had installed Sina 10S on it and it just fits in flawlessly you can you can just see there are uh, speaker slots inside the helmet where you can just place the speakers and uh, you can run the Sina or the Carlo very easily on this helmet and when it comes to the protection it has got the AZE certification on this helmet which is pretty much the standard when it comes to motorcycle helmet protection. MIPS liner basically means that the multi-directional impact protection system, if I'm not wrong, and uh, which means that it prevents the head from, in, in case of an impact, a liner inside this helmet actually prevents the uh, head from rotating, right? It just reduces the impact that goes, goes to your head right so that's what it does yeah it's an added protection that you get with it not many uh, you know helmet companies have incorporated this particular protection uh, system onto the helmets but does that mean that this helmet is perfect absolutely not uh, this helmet has got its negatives no helmet is perfect right like i told you the first issue that i have with this helmet is the fact that it is essentially a dirt helmet and that shows and uh, you know most of the air vents uh, are not really closable so you get a very loud helmet i use the ear plugs otherwise it's just very noisy that also affects when you are using the intercoms as well it's very difficult to hear uh, uh, when you especially when you're calling when you're on a call and all that you just have to slow down the motorcycle in order to talk to the other person it's very loud it's really loud that's a, that's that's one of the problems with this helmet this is uh, meant for slower riding if you're you know tackling technical stuff technical off-road terrains and all that this flows a lot of air and which is good but on the other hand if you are on long highways it is very loud so there is no absolutely no weather protection on this helmet which i think is a big big issue especially for a an ADV helmet i also have an issue with this uh, helmet's visor right it has got this detents wrongly set in my opinion because uh, what you do on uh, you know colder climates is that you will close you will open this lid just a little bit just a little bit little bit to let in the air also it also uh, don't let the you know uh, visor to fog up right but there is no position where you can set set this it just goes down right this is the position where you can set this 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 three one two and three another thing uh, that might bother some of you out there is that the fit of the helmet uh, as you know that the bell is an american company so they make helmet for intermediate oil face i think i've this is fine for me this is this is not loose not at all loose but it's just not perfect is it a, is it a good helmet for you is is this a perfect helmet for you i don't know like you have to decide you it's it, it totally depends on where you ride and how you ride uh, if you are a person who rides mostly off-road definitely yes um, this is the helmet for you but there are better dot helmets out there but if you're going on road again uh, there are definitely better helmets than this out there apart from how loud this helmet and the weather protection of the helmet though apart from these two things I think this helmet was supremely comfortable on my head right 
if I get a chance to buy another helmet, another ADV helmet, I would 100% go for this. Anyway, that is not an option now because of the non-ISI helmet ban in India. Uh, none of these uh, multinational foreign bra brands, most of them are not available in India. Uh, but when they are in reduce, look out for this helmet. If you are looking for uh, an ADV helmet, the Bell MX-9 Adventure MIPS will definitely will not be a bad option. Fine.